Hi there, tax time's coming and we wanna make sure that you're prepared and getting all your deductions ready so you can optimize your refund uh, come tax time. So one of the key areas that people tend to have questions or deductions in is working from home. In a recent uh, NTAA uh, seminar that our team members attended, we we're given a bit of a heads up on uh, ensuring that this uh, area of deduction is looked at appropriately. Uh, one of the things that they were picking up, that the ATO was picking up, is that people were claiming, for instance, 40 hours worth of uh, work from home per week, uh, yet they also had substantial uh, motor vehicle deductions, which seemed a bit odd. It seemed a bit odd that they were traveling significantly, doing lots of driving, yet somehow still doing a full week's worth of work um, with home office. So, uh, which they may or may not have been, but certainly um, the ATO will be looking for further substantiation if that is the case. So last year, um, at around March, uh, 2020, the ATO introduced a new rate that they enable people to use when working from home, and that rate was 80 cents per hour. So we already had a fixed rate uh, method available at 52 cents per hour, but what they did is they introduced a shortcut method. So rather than having to look at your internet usage and some other deductions, uh, you could and, and add that to your home office usage. They just enable people to claim this higher rate, which was a bit more encompassing of, of some of those other home office deductions uh, and to provide a shortcut, to, <laughs> hence the name. Uh, and so how do you utilize that rate or how do you claim your deduction or calculate your deduction? Effectively, you look at the total number of hours of work, multiply it by that rate, uh, and then that gives you the deductible amount to be entered into your tax return. So how do we actually go about calculating the hours? Well, that can be a challenging one, especially if somebody hasn't maintained their records throughout the year. Sometimes people have uh, time sheets where they uh, record the number of hours worth of work from home. Sometimes people have set hours working from home and sometimes it might be some hours at home uh, and some hours going into the office or even traveling. Uh, so what we suggest to clients is that you maintain a logbook and you go back through the year and record the number of hours that you worked throughout the weeks. Often we'll take an average, uh, as long as you can be able to substantiate that and they might, you know, check in with your employer and whatever else. Um, so uh, for instance, if you say I work a day, uh, a day at home uh, for work, which might be eight hours, eight times the number of weeks that you've worked. If you've had time off, you know you've taken four weeks off in that year, uh, and then we'll multiply that out by um, the 48 weeks and then calculate the deduction amount. So, uh, and that just gives you a bit of a guidance of how we can go about calculating that amount. Uh, but certainly the ATO will be looking for substantiation a logbook or a diary or some other evidence to uh, assist in working out how that amount was achieved. So as I said, there's two methods that can be claimed. Uh, there's actually three methods, I guess, if you're looking at either the fixed rate method, so you're looking at the 52 cents per hour or the 80 cents, which includes the internet, or you can do a percentage of the usage, uh, the home office usage, uh, depending on whether or not you've got a dedicated space at home. So if you've got a dedicated office at home and that office occupies, let's say 20% of your overall property, then you might be able to claim 20% of the insurances, the electricity, uh, and some of the other costs associated with running that home office. Uh, and in addition to uh, maybe, um, you know, the depreciation of, of those uh, furniture items and uh, other equipment that you might be utilizing. So uh, again, if you're not quite sure when you're doing your tax return, talk to our tax experts and we'll be able to guide you on ensuring that you're claiming it appropriately. We want to make sure that we're maximizing, but we also want to make sure that it's within the rules uh, and so that you're calculating correctly, that you're including all the things that you can possibly claim and, and making sure you're getting those things right as well. So as I mentioned before, we need to ensure that we've got documentation as we started last year collecting uh, copies of receipts and other logbooks and whatnot so that we can keep on our files. So for whatever reason, if you lose that documentation, uh, then at least we've got them in our records uh, and in case of audit or for other purposes, uh, we can maintain those records for you. Uh, so that's home office usage. One of the um, sort of, I guess, key areas where people can optimize some of the re returns. One of the other things that we probably just want to highlight is uh, sometimes people will try to claim a percentage of the rent or maybe even uh, the mortgage and interest and whatnot. Uh, it's key to note that if you're 
on salary working as an employee, then you won't be able to claim a percentage of your rent in terms of your home office usage. Uh, that's really only applicable if somebody is working in, in a bit more of a, um, a business type uh, setup, so they're self-employed and they run their own business. There's a possibility that they might be able to claim a percentage of the rent. And um, certainly with your mortgage or interest repayments and whatnot, it's something that in most cases we won't encourage clients to do even when self-employed uh, because it sort of leaves you open the capital gains tax and whatnot. So if those are the types of deductions that you're trying to claim on your tax return, it's best to uh, speak to one of our tax specialists first uh, because it, it gets a bit tricky when it comes to those sorts of arrangements and whatnot. All right, so that's home office usage. A few things to think about. Maybe you might claim the cents per hour. There's two different rates there, depending on whether or not you want to just include your internet within that rate and claim the 80 cents or claim the 52 cents and a percentage of your internet. Often we'll look at both methods and look at which one's going to maximize your deductions. And then we'll go with that. And that might change from year to year as well, depending on what's going on. All right, that's it from me. Best of luck with getting everything ready. Suggest that if you do want to get your return in sooner rather than later, that you start collating that information now, that you start checking with our team on possible deductions so we can kind of assist and guide you. Um, so when you're preparing that information that you, you know what you're looking for. All right, thanks guys, all the best and we'll see you soon during tax season.